everybody. We're back with Bobby Bandito himself, Mr. Matthew McConaughey. Now, a lot of people have accused me of planning ahead for this uh, crisis right now by having a Twitter handle that is Stephen at home, but it's totally, it's totally just kismet. I want to yeah. ask you about your, your, uh, your life philosophy. Just keep living. Yeah. That has set you up for this moment in a, in a beautiful way. What are you doing with Just Keep Living right now? Yeah, well, Just Keep Living is something that came to me after my father moved on in, uh, in 1993. So it was a way to keep his spirit alive in me. Since then, I've found nothing that Just Keep Living doesn't apply to. And in these times right now, it's actually very literal. Uh, one of the things we're doing with our foundation is there's a lot of uh, kids that were depending on a breakfast and a lunch at the schools they went to, that they couldn't pay for them without getting them from the school. We're getting meals to those kids and their families who are no longer in school right now. We're also getting them uh, laptops and internet access so they can keep trying to learn during this time when they're not in school. Um, that's one thing that we're heavily uh, uh, working on right now. And that, that work's not gonna end. There's plenty to do and there's more to do. Um, another thing that we're doing right now is trying to give back to the hospitality industry, the bartenders, the waitresses, the people that work at the, the, the hotels that we're probably working to pay today to pay their rent this month. Um, so working through a, another uh, to a nonprofit called Another Round, Another Rally, which gives emergency funds to these people out of work right now. I got to give a call out to uh, my friends at Campari America who make a little bit of wild turkey and also this beautiful juice called Long Branch that I'm sipping right now. Do you have some in the backseat? Oh, they just donated a million dollars to Another Round, Another Rally. So good on you, Campari America. Um, Here's to and that's you. helping that's helping fund these people that, 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 that are working every day. Like I said, bartenders, waitresses, hotel help that don't have a job right now and need to pay the rent. Did Cheers you ever you. wait or bartender? Mm -hmm. Did you ever bartender wait, Matthew? Waited and bartended. I was uh, I was uh, I waited tables in a great blues bar in Austin, Texas on the sixth street called Catfish Station. Um, I was the only male and the only white person working the entire place. It was great. Jazz and blues every night till 2.30 a.m. Were you a good waiter? Not as good as the queen waitress, Tammy. Um, I tried to beat her in tips every night and after 144 nights, the closest I got was four bucks away. I made 78, she made 84, I never beat her. It's a great thing to do for a living. For some part of your life, I think everybody should be in the service industry because you learn well, how to do a job, how not to answer in kind if somebody is rude to you, just take care of the customer. And then you know how to be nice to people when you're the customer. Well, I think it's a aren't, great we all learning it? aren't we all learning it a little bit right now? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I, I mean, look so. around our house. I'm doing a lot more serving. I know my kids are doing a lot more serving, a lot more cleaning up, too. I'm a doing lot a more lot cooking. more serving right here. Yes, right here. sir. <laughs> no, it is, a, it is a great job to have. I mean, you learn. I've always loved people. And, and, and cultures and you know uh, when I waited tables for two and a half years that kept $45 cash in my back pocket so I could go on a date on the weekend or maybe go play around the golf somewhere uh, put some super unleaded in the tank instead of regular unleaded in case I was feeling big time um, what does that do for I, you this is totally off subject but why would I want super unleaded instead of regular unleaded isn't that just some you, sort of scam no, when you press the gas, there's less, there's, it's cleaner fuel straight to direct, it's direct uh, uh, velocity on, on, your, on your ignition. You, you go faster, quicker. It, 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 there's no pause, there's no air bubbles in the pockets when it's going, when it's, when it's firing, when you're getting super unleaded. No, okay. higher octane's better. Okay, all right. You're not representing a <laughs> gas company right now, are you? Because you just <laughs> sold me. <laughs> Ah, tell you when, you're, when you're putting that in your Lincoln, you want the you want the super unleaded. Oh yeah, is that when you're you saying <laughs> when you put that in your Lincoln, yeah. Have you seen? Did you ever heard? Have you heard the Navigator? Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got one of those. Put some mm -hmm. super unleaded in your Navigator, and mm -hmm. it'll go faster, quicker. As far as I can tell from that Lincoln ad, you you play pool by hitting the ball once and then leave the party without saying anything. That's Isn't it. that rude? Isn't that Drop rude, the mic, Matthew. <laughs> Just a drop of my moment. <laughs> I sank one ball. <laughs> Good night. And then I like telling everyone, I go, I go, they go, is that you that made that shot? I was like, yeah, yeah, it's me that made that shot. They go, how many times did it take it? I said, what? what do you mean? How many times? Once. Make it walk. Bye. Okay, what do you think people need next, Matthew McConaughey? 
People are nervous. Ooh. People are anxious. What can we do Here's to make people feel better? It's part of the That's job. That's it. So people stay at home, which is the first thing. People wear our masks, like Bobby B says. That's second thing. Now that we're at home, how do we keep from going stir crazy? Um, I think instead of a, a, a hotline, we need a cool line in these hot times. Some place you can call when you're sitting going, ooh, 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 I'm a little bit edgy. Oh, uh, 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 you know, the kids are getting on my nerves, whatever. Place you just hear, hear a cool line, a soothing voice. I can say, hey, be cool. This will be over. Um, and I think that reminder is one other thing we got to keep reminding people. This is going to pass. So it's, it's asking for more endurance than we've ever been asked for. So be cool. Do what you can. Help somebody out if you can. Because when we get off the other side, let's look back at this time and go, ah, I handled that the best I could. I was as cool as I could be at that time. Because we will get out of it. Just remember that. Yes. When this is all over, we'll remember how we treated each other. Absolutely. We're being forced to. And I hope, I think the upside of this, the silver lining, is we're going to come out this treating each other better than we ever have in the last, I don't know how many years. This is it. We've got a common denominator here. <laughs> no matter how high anyone was flying, economically or whatever, on some level, we've all been, we've all been brought down to a level where we are birds flying at the same height. No mm -hmm. one is immune from this enemy, this coronavirus. So, no, hey. Th this is like the aliens have landed on the planet and we all have to bond together. The sci-fi picture has come to life. <laughs> it's, not, it's not fiction anymore. Um, yeah, so let's do this and come out the other side and look back and go, mm hmm, I'm a better man for that. I'm a better woman for that. I'm a better person for that time. Um, by the way, um, wh when is the right time to pour yourself uh, a cocktail? Is, is there a time that's too early? Is there a time that's too late? When is the right time to have a little cocktail? Because people are in, they're having maybe a little bit more than normal. When's the right time, Matthew? The right time to pour yourself a cocktail. Is it ever too early to pour yourself a cocktail? Well, the right time to do it is before it's too late. Oh, yeah. Folks, we have to take another quick break. But when we come back, we will find out how Matthew McConaughey ended up calling the bingo numbers at a senior center. Stick around.